What's up guys, Alex here back with another tutorial. Sorry I couldn't make another tutorial for like the last three or four weeks because I was busy with school. Uh, but now since it's Thanksgiving break, I'm going to try and get back to making a lot more videos so I can upload throughout the next month or two. So like I promised, I promised you guys I would make an extra 3D stroke pack including also uh, 3D stroke transitions. So just to give you a quick preview of the pack, uh, it's basically a folder with the transitions and also miscellaneous other stroke designs. Now to use the transition it's pretty simple. Um, all you do is, um, here I already have a 3D stroke transition right here, uh, is basically create a new video track on top of the video clips that you want to provide a transition to. Put the two video clips next to each other and you want to make sure that your media cursor timeline is uh, between the middle of those two clips and you want to drag the 3D stroke transition over and with the 3D stroke transition uh, the right point where there's a transition between the two clips is where this little um, stroke covers the entire screen so you want to keep dragging it until you see it covering the entire screen so right around here and you just want to go ahead and preview it so that makes sure it matches up with your video clips so that's how you use the transition um, also, since most of the, the transitions and the other miscellaneous stroke um, designs are a little bit too fast, uh, it's a good thing I render them at 60 frames per second so that you can actually slow them down uh, without having to have any like um, a lag or anything like that in the strokes. So to do that, it's really simple. You can either do the traditional way where you put your cursor at the end of the video clip, hold control, and stretch it out. See, it's pretty smooth. Um, or you can do the um, velocity clip. You just click the stroke, go to insert video envelope, and click event velocity, and just bring it down to about 50%. So, yeah, that's that. That's how you use the transition. And also, uh, if you want to go through the other miscellaneous stuff, I have a bunch of them. Uh, let's see. Here's the Deathly Hallows stroke. I don't know why I put that in there. I just made it for fun. You have flower petals, grids, and also a lightning bolt. So there's a much uh, larger variety of 3D strokes in the pack. So that's that. Um, I hope you guys like the pack. Remember, it's a media fire link down below in the description below. Uh, if it doesn't work, please comment down below saying it doesn't work. I'll upload it to another file sharing site. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Um, for the past three weeks, I've been losing active subscribers, so I'm trying to get those uh, back by uploading more videos throughout the months and weeks. So if you can do that, that would be great. And if you want any more tutorial requests on any new effects, please post them down in the comments down below. Um, I'll read through all my comments and see which ones I like and make a tutorial on them. So uh, with that, I'll have another tutorial up by this Friday. And be sure you watch that, and I'll see you guys next time.